Hey guys, it is me, BA, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to use Roblox Studio and to how to make a really quick game using it. So to have Roblox Studio, you're going to have to first go to roblox.com and you're going to have to install Roblox Player, which looks like this, and Roblox Studio, which looks like this. And uh, once you have downloaded that, you have to like sign into Roblox Studio. The username and password for Roblox Studio should be the same as your Roblox Player's account. So you, once you open up to this page, we'll, we'll get to that later. You want to click on any terrain you want. I like to use flat terrain. Base plate is just well, just giant plate, but I like to use the grass. Now, if you want to use models, you want you want to go to view toolbox and it will open the toolbox for you so you can pick anything right here like anything at all you can pick bus fan anything I can just like drag a car down just like that and I can go to the test the test option I can click play and I can just I can go to the, up to this car and oh and there's even a door animation and I can just drive it around which isn't that bad actually going in circles okay I mean this car actually is pretty well built but I will show you guys how to make a car in a different video but right now we're not gonna do this oh my okay so what we're gonna do in this video is I'm going to show you how to do the basics how to basically start building something very basic so I just wanna delete this you wanna go to home click on this little arrow and do part now you will see that this little tiny block will come. You can, you have to, uh, go on, click on, you have to right click, and you want to, oh no, not right click, you want to go up to here and you can do scale, move, I'm going to do scale right now, and I'm going to, let's say, let's say we want to make a simple box. So you want to scale it like this, as so. And you want to get a You want to right-click on that. You want to do duplicate. Then right-click again. Duplicate. Right-click again. Duplicate. And last one. Right-click again and duplicate. After you have done that, you, what you want to do is you want to click and hold on this. Then do control. Uh, then you want to press R while you're clicking and holding, so you can rotate it. And um, if you want to tilt it, you just click and hold and you just tilt. But right now I want to rotate it. Come on, where is it? Uh, okay. Well, I just messed. I'm just gonna delete that one piece. I completely messed it up. Okay. So now what I want to do? I just want to rotate this one piece. Come on. Why is it like this? I'm gonna move this toolbox. It's getting in the way of my building. Come on. Tilt. Tilt. There we go. Finally. Okay. I'm just gonna make a very simple box as uh, so and once we make this box it looks pretty boring just being a box so oh, come on oh, if you if you can't fit it in you just want to scale it smaller make it fit in then scale it back to normal size now you have a little box now what you want to do you can do anything you'd like you can uh... Write, you can like do any of these you can union negate anything so, so uh you if you right click you can do uh i think it was insert part yeah and it will uh, give give you this other block and i want to scale this one block i'm going to make sure that it's like only on one square each side now i want to scale it to be bigger just to cover it up and that's how you make a very basic like a very basic box now you wanna highlight this all you wanna right click you want to where is it oh you wanna group so now you can just move okay, if you want if you want to group you can just move it all around together just like this and yeah now let's say you want to add a spawn well this is going to be the spot where to go oops control z if you mess up you should do control z oh i see i see where it went 
You know, under the map. I see. Okay. You don't want that. Control Z. Control Z. Now you want. You don't want. You just want to click anywhere else, so you don't. So you don't select it. You want to click spawn, and this will be the spawn. Now I just want to scale this one to the size that I would want, and I can put color to it. I can change the color to anything I'd like. Let's say I want the color to be I don't know white. Oops. Oh, I need to click. I need to select it. Then I change the color to what I'd like, like white. Now we have the spawn. Just to make sure it works, right? You want to go to test, play. And you're supposed to spawn on that block, which you did. You spawned on that block, and it works. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's a little jiggly. Oh no. We can just run into it and break the wall. Not what we want. See, we can just knock it down. Get out of my way. We don't want that. What we want is we want to stick them all together, just like glue. So you want to go back to stop. You want to first, actually, you saw how uh, like it bounced off the floor a little. Well, what you want to do like, with that problem, if it will make me get the, uh, yeah, you want to make it go as as low as it, it's down in the ground as possible. It will stop at a certain point, and that is okay. So now what you want to do is you want to go to uh you want to uh, click on this since we grouped it you want to go to surface you want to go to glue now to make sure it all actually like work like, all is glued let's go back to test mode test mode oh no what's the matter it's not glued well, it didn't glue it together because it's all grouped. And if it's grouped, it's basically saying, oh, it's this is one, basically they can't get as one block. And if we put it with another block, it'll glue that. So we what we have to do is we're going to click on every single uh, side of this. Every single side. So it gets glued. Just like this. And you want to go from the inside, go down there, from the inside, make it all glued. So, there. Now, since you have it all glued, let's test it again. Oh, what is this? It sticks. Yeah. So, that's how you make a, an object stick together. And now you, you saw that there is also, uh, where is it? There's also smooth, smooth it out, like that, which, which makes it smoother. You can do anything you'd like to make this smoother. It looks better. Just like that. Just make the outline. That looks really good. Huh. Yeah, I'm just making it smooth so it looks not really, uh, not really has Legos, but more of a plastic block. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Enough gluing for one day. Okay, so now we have this object right here. What we want to do now is you want to go to terrain. You want to do roads. Now you want to do click one set starting point of uh okay you want to click like come control z control z to undo you want to click on roads you want to like tr find one point to point a of it so that's point a and then point b if it will select it's not in selected roads there's one and then click again at the end point of the road and it will make a giant grass road now if you want a crater same thing you can just depth anything and you can click and it'll give you a giant crater not really what I'd like because uh, this flat land is only three blocks or two blocks high which isn't really good if you want to uh, make a giant crater but if you want to fix that I'll get right to it control Z to undo the crater let's make a depth to just one percent it makes like the world go oops go down just by one block which is pretty cool actually I mean just look at that 
but we don't want that. We want to undo it. Okay. One percent means like basically one block. Twenty depth, like for example, twenty-two percent makes it go down twenty-two blocks. Radius thirty-three is like how wide it is. Now, if you want to adjust the elevation, this is gets this gets a little laggy. You want to do radius, find the area, and you want to find the slope. And now you can just do this. It's really cool, actually. It looks like a tree. It's like it's very neat how you do this. You just mess around with the mouse, make it bigger, or smaller. It's very, like you have to learn how to use the mouse to make it bigger. But that's basically how you make this right here. So since you have like, this little cool volcano, you can just add like a little hole like right here at the top. Depth gonna be the, for example a four. And just like that. It's a little volcano. Yeah. Radius one. And it's a volcano. You have a volcano right there. Now there's so many things you can do. You can like fill fill like anything like you want to do a flood fill hmm well I don't know I want to change this Fl uh, flood fill a selected link this operation may take some time now I'm not going to do it for the video because it's going to take forever but what it does it basically changes the ground to one of these right here and there's not more options but it changes the ground to one of these which is pretty neat uh, what else is there? So, hmm, we use the terrain. Let's there's model. Oh, okay. So if, let's let's work on effects. So effects. I want to click on if it will let me. Oh, it won't. Let's click on the. Let's highlight this box. Let's go to effects. Now we can like choose fire. If, come on, fire. Won't work. Is like the fire inside it? No. Um, maybe. Oh, it says it's in gameplay. Maybe. Okay, this always confuses me. But let's just run it. No character. Oops. Supposed to do F5 to play it. Okay. Now, I don't see a fire here. So, no. It doesn't really work. But okay. That's okay. There's always a solution to a problem, usually. Uh, effects. There's gonna be, like, uh, like, uh, I don't know. It's this is like the effects is kind of confusing. Um, material. You can change the material to, for example, diamond plate, which give it this type of like uh, texture. You can change it to anything corroded metal. You can change it to plastic. Change it to wood. Anything. I'm just gonna change it to. Uh, let's see, marble. That's a pretty good color. I'm gonna change the color to like white, just like that. Cause most marble is white. Some is like white tan, a bunch of mix of mixture of colors. But white is a decent color. So, I'm going to end off the video here. I just showed you some basics on how to use Roblox Player. I'm going to show you some other advanced things like using effects, using scripts, and other stuff in the next video. But for now, this is me, BA, showing you a tutorial on how to use Roblox Studio. Signing out. Bye bye, guys.